Hello! Today I will just do a small show showcase of my current build with a Shadow Taser. I'm currently using two builds. I'm using a Fatal Menace build and the Triangle Shot build for like uh, overall farming and doing instance. Um, this is like uh, the most common equipment that you're going to use, uh, see on most uh, endgame. Uh, uh, Taser players. Obviously, I'm missing a lot of refines, but this is overall like the equipment. So, obviously, the uh, Bio 5 hat with metal because attack and hit in a class that doesn't have a way to deal with uh, high flea monsters is always nice just to get a lot of head with a purple Ferris card since it's like one of the most, the better overall good heavy card qu uh, cards from uh, every class that use uh, melee damage or physical damage. Uh, I had the luck to get at least one dex 5 and the other enchant is whatever. Uh, you need, uh, I think it's around 25 or 27 after cut delay for max spam of the skill. I'm not completely sure, I haven't seen the like the the character, uh, the class discord that match. So the new ones and glasses are always a nice way to get 10% after cast delay. Obviously the Magic Rosary mode is really good for the old stats since Triangle shoots skills with uh, Agi. Uh, for my armor, the automatic armor, I use Two angle shoot models and the after cast delay model to get the final like amount of after cast delay that I need for the for the uh, for the max spam with the VR card because it's obviously 10% free attack so it's always nice. From the bow, uh, I'm completely sure that the 17.2 bow is better if you have if you manage to get a nice enchant on it. Uh, but I'm still using the uh, Eda one with Expert Archer and the Gerti with uh, the Scimitar Buffalo is for the combo with the 17.2 cards. So that and the Contaminate Wonder card. I'm using the a Temporal Strange Mantle with 10% uh, range damage with an Ancient Wooden Shooter. This one I test damage and it's better than the than the main blank for damage for Tail Chaser. And since you don't have to cast Triangle Shoot anymore, I jump from uh, Temporal Dexterity Boots to Temporal Strength Boots with Extra Edge and the Burst Might. And obviously, like I said before, uh, I'm using the 17.2 card, so I have an Aries card for this slot for the complete combo. For the accessories, I'm using the automatic booster with uh, an all force expert archer and a attack skill. Since this is like the best combination that you can get for a tail chaser for max damage, and I'm using the I'm using two savage venomous cards. I don't know if a gigantes card is better on this accessory. I haven't tested because I don't have the card on me, but. Overall, having two uh, have worked really good for me. Uh, for the Insignia, I have a King Smith Strong Insignia with obviously Strong, an Expert Archer, and an Agi 5. I'm still missing the Expert Archer 5 on this for like the uh, best enchanted accessory, but this, was, this one was cheaper and I'm currently out of plenty, so I'm keeping this one for now. Uh, for my Shadow Hearts, I am using the full uh, Shadow set for Road, since it gives you a really nice amount of bonuses and 10% all stats. Uh, the only ones that I'm refining are the Weapons, since it gives you damage on Triangle Shoot every refine, and the Boots, since you get a nice amount of attack every refine over 6. And the two accessories, since if you have the, the two of them plus 5, you get 2% extra attack. Uh, for the pets, you can. Uh, this is an Orc Hero. You can use uh, Orc Hero, you can use uh, Incubus, you can use Scubus, you can use the Ferroni, I think 
pronounce the name, the one that you, you hit, that is also a really nice uh, pet to have. For the same reason that I said before, the only skill on the whole uh, Shallow Taser uh, skill trees that bypass Flea is Backstab, and it's not that much damage. So the more hit you get, the better. For my uh, Fatal Mana skill, I'm currently using, uh, well, this one I changed it between this one and my uh, Triangle Shoot uh, Headgear. It depends on what I'm farming, if I need more damage or if I need the... Uh, if I need the... Uh, the Sustain. So for Sustain, that is like most of the time, I use a, a Vanagar Helm with the Repair Robot Turbo card, since it's a lot of nice HP and HP for per kill. I keep the new ways of glasses and I use the blood socket for the same reason. Just because you're going to be in melee mode, so you need the the drain effects if you are moving a lot of monsters. For my armor, I'm using uh, the uh, automatic armor with two powers and a delay after skill. Uh, this card is optional. I don't have another automatic and I don't have that much money to be the card in each time that I do something. And since I farm uh, a horror toy factory a lot, uh, if you don't have a battery card there, the selling king is going to one shot you if you're melee against her with the Dark Jupiter Thunder. So it's better to just uh, have this one and avoid getting killed. For the daggers, I currently using a uh, Gulafid. I uh, I was uh, testing damage between these two, and this uh, this dagger with just 14% increased physical uh, melee damage does more damage than the, the die. Uh, and also this one comes with uh, after cast July, so it's really good for spamming the skill. So until we get like one of those really broken headgears that uh, combines with the Eda weapons, I don't think this weapon, aside from like, if you for some reason need to use backstab, I don't see why you should like, rush this weapon at all. Uh, for my shield, I'm using the Purified Night Shield with Remove uh, Weapon Size Penalty, since Dagger has a really bad uh, penalty, like it's like 50% damage on, on large. Uh, with a Cavalry Cavus, Knight card, since in combo with the, uh, the White Knight card. Oh yeah, I am also using the 17.2 uh, combo on this uh, in Fatal Mana Spiel. For the Garment, I'm using a Temporal Strangement Teal with After Castle Enchant and, well, a Brown Rat card, since it's a really nice overall damage card. Uh, the Boots is... Same, Temporal strength of, uh, Boots of Strength with Fighting Spirit and Burst Might and an Aries card. Uh, for the accessory, I just use the same accessory as the as the other build. Just because it's a lot of damage, even if I lose the HP lead that you can get from the enchant. Um, from the other accessory, I use the I think Smith Strong Insignia with Strong Fighting Spirit, and I had a this one I got it from like doing it myself. So I have a Luke five, which Luke is a really nice overall uh, set. And well, I use the same Shadow Deer years, and I use like I say, uh, Inku, Sukubus, uh Ferroni, or the or Hero. So uh, with that in mind. My damage without, without uh, the uh, usual boost that I use is about 2 mil on medium and about 2 mil on large with a bow. It would follow, follow menace. I will use my. this head just to do the showcase damage. Is almost 700k on medium and. Almost, yeah, that, that's the, like the, it, it's a really chunk of damage. Now that it's going to, Olgasheim Talent is going to arrive, 
uh, this one is going to be exchanged for the temporal secret, so we will have to wait. And well, for buffs, I use the Eda foods. And the, I, I, I use this one because, like I say, I buff, I farm a lot of uh, Oroto Factory, so I have like a million of these foods. Berserk potions, the HP and HP uh, regen potions from uh, Endeavor tokens, and the attack and the range physical damage buff from the Endeavor tokens too. These ones are really good if you are planning for farming for uh, a lot of time in places that the enemies have a lot of uh, uh, health. These two, I, I usually have them uh, on me active all the time when I'm farming whatever thing that I'm farming. Because having these two is really good and it frees you from not having to use like the Sukubus or the Vanagar Helm if I'm using uh, Paddle Manners. So with full buffs, is this? I usually I also use the LVC of Real from Improv Concentration and the City Map from Grace Agility. So with the full buff, a uh, raid and Magnum Break. This is like damage and spam of a uh, Fatal Manus currently. It's um, almost night hunt. It's like um, almost a meal, and that is without using like a red hair activator. If I use one, I'm pretty sure that I can get meal. A meal. Yeah. So that's the current damage that I have on. Battle menace, obviously against dummies. The, if I am against other monsters, it's going to depend on what I'm hitting. And for fatal, uh, for trank shoot is a lot of. Even if as it, it, well, it's the strongest kill that you can get as a, a shallow taser at this moment. And it's probably the one, the build that people use most on like monster hunter on things like that. You basically can read, like I don't even have the all the finds, and you can basically read 3.4 mil in with all, only this equipment. That is it's not that expensive since not a lot of people play this class, so you can snatch like the weapons and the armor really cheap in the market. And it's a really nice and easy to spam skill. It's basically click to win skill. So yeah, that's the the current build that I'm using because a, a couple of people keep asking me to like showcase it. So. Here it is. This is not going to be like a high, high, uh, 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 like cute, nice video. Just because I am uh, currently busy doing other stuff in real life. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. And if you need like help for uh, equipment progression or gear progression, you can just ask me on Discord or in game if you find me online. I, I'm even if I'm like doing work or something, I'm probably always connected on this character, so you can like DM me. And well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and see you in the next video. That is probably going to be when they release the temporal circuit.